All right, guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful day here in paradise on Fish Eating Creek in Palmdale, California on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous Sunday morning springtime Sunday morning in uh, South Florida and uh, I am doing what I've been doing pretty much every day for the past week and that is getting out on a canoe and fish eating creek uh, it is Sunday March 3rd 2019 I understand there's some sort of is there some sort of blizzard blowing into the Catskill Mountains in upstate New York right now. I want to hear something about a, a blizzard in upstate New York. And uh, this is the reason that your old doomsday preacher, Hambone Little Tail, and his little dog, Sancho Panza, will not be living in the Catskill Mountains in New York State in the summertime that we will be coming snowbirds next year uh, while we still can and uh, enjoying the what's left of the paradise of Florida before it is all gone and make no mistake about it everything we are seeing here will be gone uh, literally will be will be gone in a few years as florida goes underwater and these people you know guys i when, when i'm talking about florida going underwater you know starting in south florida i'm not acting like the water will be over the tops of the trees here in five years it's going to start with the salt water intrusion uh just poisoning everything you can I'm not one to put timelines, but I'm saying I would think in the next 20 years that uh, the saltwater intrusion coming in from all sides and creeping up from the Everglades, which start about 20 miles south of here, will have begun. And uh, so what it will be is a uh, just a a steady poisoning from the uh, from the ocean uh, and eventually this will be underwater and this is why I am getting out and enjoying uh, fish eating creek and what's left of the paradise of South Florida while I still can this is for those of you who have not figured this out, the purpose of, well, one, one of the purposes, but probably the main purpose more and more with both Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles is sending the message out there to get out there and enjoy this this bountiful planet and this bountiful universe while you still can uh, every single hell I was getting ready to say every single year every single day on this planet it is getting harder and harder and harder to find these little oases of, of you know sanity and natural beauty as just the whole human enterprise as global industrial civilization you know just pulling out all of the stops to destroy what you're looking at here i mean my god just is here in florida what you have to go through now to find these little you know these little slivers of the uh remaining paradise uh you know, South Florida is, is certainly one of the most beautiful places I have ever 
Yes. I have ever been in my life on the planet. I have been coming here to Fish Eating Creek since I was a little kid. This was my my mama's one of her favorite places on the planet. There is nothing in the Amazon rainforest. Uh, I would almost say even as pretty as Fish Eating Creek. Uh, and here I am on this absolutely gorgeous, over-the-top, beautiful Sunday. Y you know, kind of at the, the height of the tourist season. And uh, I have this creek entirely to myself. Now, the weekend just finished, and so, literally, uh, what, well, le certainly less than two miles, about a mile upstream from here you know everyone is packing up their gas sucking cars and heading back to wherever they came from to do whatever they do with their lives i choose to do this with my life this is what uh since i have pulled my head out of my ass i have chosen and it is a choice we can make uh, to, you know, to the best of my ability, turn my back on the dominant cultural paradigm and get out there and enjoy this while I still can. I was, we we're just wrapping up, we, you know, we've had the, the Doomer meetup here for the past week. And it was fun, and I, I do appreciate all the the doomers who showed up for the meetup. But even they are packing up their bags and heading back to where even doomers go. And uh, leaving Sancho Panza and Hambone alone again. Imagine that. Uh, that for whatever reason people make the choice that they do and the vast majority of people make the choice of you know a, a comfortable home and a steady income and the nice car and whatnot and just leave leave this to weirdos weirdos like me I am glad to be a weirdo I am, I really appreciate all of my fellow humans for choosing to be packing up their gas sucking cars and heading back to wherever they came from, leaving Fish Eating Creek for me. Thank you very much, fellow humans, for giving me this spectacular gift on this gorgeous Sunday morning and so anyway as I was saying last night I was talking with one of our fellow tribes members who's actually an attorney and uh, I was mentioning I figure now you know I've been doing this for 10 years for 10 years ago that I packed up my gas sucking truck to head to the Peruvian Amazon and I figure that I have lost at least one million dollars that making the choice I made ten years ago uh, I would have made I'm figuring uh, in ten years at a hundred thousand dollars a year that I would have made one million dollars at this point if I had not made the choice to uh, pull my head out of my ass and become a uh, a doomsday preacher. Uh, and do I regret it? You know, this is is the reason that that, that people don't make this choice. Uh, you know, just just walking away from a hundred thousand dollar a year job and the beautiful home and the you know just to cut loose from the bank and head down the creek. I have two paddles in case 
just make sure when you head up the creek or down the creek or whichever direction that you have two paddles. Yeah, little dog. Somebody does not like our approach. So anyway, guys, you know, as, as I was, as I say, I, I, don't, I don't know how I can convince people to get out there and enjoy it while they still can. I, it's just, it, it, it just floors me how 99.9% .9 of this, uh, of this planet make the choice for that comfortable, convenient lifestyle, and this is the price they pay. Uh, then, of course, here's the clueless fuck. You know, I'm about an hour and a half from Disney World, I'm guessing. Right about now, here on this beautiful 78 degree spring day in paradise with blizzards blowing into New York. How many people, what is a, what is a ticket to Disney World cost? I, uh, someone told me they were running close to $200 for a one day ticket to Disney World. Right now, 90 minutes from here, there are hundreds of people shelling out $200 to uh, hang out at Disney World all day. When, when you have this sitting here essentially for free, I, you know, if you don't have your own boat, I think it's about $35 to rent a canoe or something uh, and set off down the creek. And, and I just think of those clueless morons up there. Just sitting in line, uh, fighting with their little snot-nosed kids uh, to get some manufactured uh, taste of, uh, of the old Florida. I could be at Disney World 90 minutes from now. I choose not to go to Disney World. I have never been to Disney World or Disneyland or anything with a... I guess I've been to a few Disney movies. Uh, but wh wh why would anybody choose to go to Disney World when, when, when they have this? And of course one reason is, is that the vast majority of people at Disney World have no clue uh, that Fish Eating Creek is here. You know, most people's visions of Florida, people who have never been to Florida, or even a lot of people who have been to Florida, uh, and who have never gotten off the, you know, the tourist beat, have no clue what, uh, what Florida looks like, or I should say used to look like. That this is the reason that I'm going to choose to uh, live in Florida every winter while I still can. It is, it, it is, it is, you know, it is an absolute wonderland out here. Uh, and most people, I would say by most people, I would say easily 90% if not more never get off the uh, the main roads and this is right off US 27 this is uh, this is on a pretty ma main road fish eating creek but uh, and and these people they just they, they, they look at these endless strip malls and traffic jams and have no clue, no clue what they are, what they're driving by when you cross the the bridge over Fish Eating Creek. I mean, you look down and it's pretty and all that, but you 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 have no clue, and you really have to get on a canoe. And then these people who get as far as the bank of Fish Eating. Creek. I'm not going to use any names <clears throat> who uh, who come down here <clears throat> from New York <clears throat> and uh, 
and never get in a canoe. But we will not pursue that uh, line of thought. Look at this cypress tree now, of course. You know, the cypress trees are, are somewhat like the redwoods that about 98% uh, of the old growth of the old growth uh, cypress has been uh, has been logged out of the of the forest in Florida. So these are it's we still get a few of those magnificent. I mean, look at that, guys. So over over 90% of these uh, giant uh, cypress stumps with the knees like that. Imagine that on mushrooms. Good Lord, I need to come down here and do a mushroom trip. Could you imagine what that would look like on shrooms? But anyway, this is what I am doing on uh, my Sunday morning in lieu of a doomsday sermon. I am just, I guess, doing a doomsday eulogy to Fish Eating Creek in South Florida and the planet. Uh, We are the last generation, the last generation of humans who will have the opportunity to do what I'm doing today as we sink deeper into the end times. And uh, I choose to get out there and enjoy it while I still can and I encourage you to get out there and enjoy fish eating creek or any of the other imperiled paradises left on this planet while you still can bye guys